Hey, 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 it's Daddy Steve. Please like and please do subscribe. It helps back the channel, keeps us all invested. Anyway, I'm going to get straight to it. These are the gold key commanders, and this is the number one for me. I've just used him so much. Listen, don't use gold heads. Don't never use gold heads. Never use gold heads. Never, 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 never. But, you know, the gold keys, and just as you get those gold keys, and if you get lucky, to get lucky, you've probably got to use... 100, 150 gold keys, and then somehow, and I don't know how, but uh, maybe it's just because you use more, more gold keys, who knows? Maybe it's just a probability thing, but it just seems you get a better chance of legendary commanders. But if you do get Mehmet, then you'll be in good stead, and obviously you do the active skill first. Always do this active skill first before you branch out to the others. Probably will do active skill, then this one just because it's guaranteed, and then just cross your fingers and hope you get the unit capacity next as quickly as possible. And then obviously, in the ideal world, you do this one last. It's not really a rally commander. Anyway, um, let's get to it. Let's talk about this active skill. So direct damage up to five enemy troops. As per standard, it goes down by 15% for each additional troop hit. Not bad at all. Not too bad. Early game, as I said, in, you know, late middle game. Yeah, it's, it's no, there's nothing too shabby about that. It's a free commander. It's a free to play commander. Yeah, let's move on. Commander deals um, it gains an extra twenty percent attack and deals twenty percent more skill damage. Awesome, awesome. So it's not even the one three five zero. It's even more, and it's one three five zero because his expertise is not the uh, eight hundred that you start off with. Um, this is a rally commander type skill as well for the passive. I don't recommend it for rallies. Maybe super early in the game again, but um, that's not what you're going to be using it for late in the game. And my, when you look at the talent trees, for me anyways, it does not even touch conquering the conquering skill, which is associated with rallies. This one's incredibly useful. Um, Sage King passive skill, which means it's not based on the rage bar. Uh, the commander's troops gain extra 10% unit capacity. Um, legend has it <laughs> that the mystery rock formula, you do more skill damage. Obviously, you're going to do more damage with more troops, but you do more skill damage as well. That's what the legend has it with the more troops that you've got, which may or may not be true. <laughs> but either way, you've got to think about it. If you're doing more damage, obviously, there's less of them to counterattack you. So maybe that's what the legend is talking about. But anyway, more is better <laughs> when it comes to attacking. Mehmet, number one. Number one goal key commando. And if that wasn't enough, we can go into the museum. And if you look at him right there in the middle, an extra 30% troop health. 30%? 30%? That just, that just adds that tankiness to it. Adds that tankiness to it. Um, early in the game, yeah, obviously he's going to be one of those that you're just aiming for as soon as possible. Damn, and, then, <laughs> and an extra 10% skill damage on top of that. Oof, definitely number one. Number one, and you know my process. <laughs> if you look at this bottom row, third from the left, you've got Commander. Click on that. Just got to do a progress check where you're at in the game. I don't use Mehmet anymore. I, I, don't, I can't remember the last time I'd use him as a primary. Commander, only ever really as a secondary, but never at all these days. But if he is there for a primary commander for you, and say all these are only for primary commanders, okay, these benefits, then, then obviously you'd put him there. If I look at the civilization, depends where you're at in the game. Early in the game, you've probably got multiple priorities, including like reducing building time and things like that. And, but late in the game, <laughs> you're mostly going to be concerned with things like uh, skill damage, which is what Mehmet does. So, um, yeah, it's going to suit him down to the ground. If he did happen to have archers in as troops, then obviously he's going to bank game for even more archer health, 5% there. I don't care about march speed at all. I'm rather focused on attack, defense, and and health basically, the more so than march speed. If you've got march speed, you run somewhere very quickly. When you get there, you come up against somebody who does have that attack, defense, and health. And then who's gonna win? <laughs> Work it out. So there, and then you get the march speed, uh, sorry, the skill damage on top, the 5%. Oof, oof, number one all day. 
in terms of gold key commanders. And I remind you, please do not use gold heads. You can do what you want. I just don't recommend it. <laughs> so I just had a, a fresh look at the talent tree. The main benefits are going to come from the skill tree. There is the conquering tree in the bottom left or towards the bottom left. Yeah, don't worry about that one. And again, when you're in battle, you want to make sure that when you get there, you say your skill damage and all those kind of good things like that are optimized. I'm not going to talk about the ones in the middle. I'm going to talk about the skill tree, but not the ones in the middle. I'm going to talk about the ones on the end. Main reason why is because <laughs> the ones on the end are the most invaluable. So if I start off, I'm going to start off here, this rejuvenate. Whenever we use an active skill, it, it gains an extra 60 rage. The, the 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 threshold is a thousand and you start off with 60 it's amazing and as i work my way down whenever the commander commander's troop launches any type of basic attack which is every other second and it does not mention a cooldown and it's only 10 percent chance but you it's a 10 percent chance to get an extra 100 rage just 100 towards that thousand <laughs> rage threshold again for your active skill to trigger that's the difference between winning and losing essential even though it's obviously a 90% chance it's not going to happen. <laughs> anyway, this one here, Clarity. Whenever the commander's troop uses an active skill, which, you know, about the rage bonuses that you can get, it gains 6% bonus to all types of skill damage for an extra 6 seconds. So it's not doing the 1350 skill damage. It's going to do that plus this 6% all the time. <laughs> the other choices to be made were... Latent power, an extra 6% more damage of all types, yet again. <clears throat> and Naked Rage, I didn't choose that this time because it's a kind of like an offset one. We could gain an extra 2%, up to 6% skill damage, but then we would take more skill damage as well. So, <laughs> um, yeah, and, and because of all the other, because this, yeah, say forget the Conquering Tree, We've got this leadership tree as well, right here we're on focus on now in the red. Uh, it's not amazing. I'm going to be up front to say it's not amazing. Okay, let's start off on the right. Um, yeah, I was just thinking there's a likelihood that you may well have, you know, commanders like Richard. I used to love Richard. Um, Richard's been phased out of the game, in my point of view. In the late, late game, he's definitely phased out. Early game and mid game, definitely not phased out. It's just a king, it's a tank of tanks. Uh, I still wouldn't recommend investing in gold heads in him, but I would understand it. I wouldn't recommend it, I would understand it. Because he's not there for the late game, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, so if you did use him or anybody else is going to heal you, you get an extra, percent, extra 9%. Lovely. I was thinking early game as well, with the, around about the time you would be using Mehmet. Bear in mind, I didn't get many Mehmet um, sculptures at all it took me years to, to upgrade Mehmet years um, and I, I wouldn't be surprised if it's the same for everybody else <laughs> but anyway so say if you did use him and for whatever reason you used him as a primary because that's the only way that this tree would work if he's a secondary it's not going to work it's the tree of the primary which which, which will be the override as, as I understand it anyway um, but anyway yeah, you get this extra 6% um, rage. And this was the health I was talking about earlier. So rage, uh, an extra 6 rage for every other for every attack, which is going to be attack, counter attack, attack. So I've got my focus again there. Um, which so sixes will add up, you know what I mean? So obviously it could be better, we could have more, but um, you know we're not going to turn it down. Let's move on. Commander troop capacity, extra 3%. We'll take that. I already talked about troop capacity earlier. Um, we'll take the normal damage, it's not going to turn it down. Uh, health here. Health. Health is always good, it just adds to tankiness. Attack, and we've got this one here. Close formation. If less than 50% troops, we gain 12% uh, attack. Of course, we're never going to turn that down. The only other debate I had was on the other side, we've got strategic prowess. Whenever we'd use an active skill, we gain 5% defense, which sounds amazing. But the, to get there, we'd have to have this for two talent points, which is only March speed, which is complete waste, as I mentioned before, and even more. So we'd have to use four talent points, which I think are just wasted, in order to get to that, that, uh, that defense. So that's why I didn't choose it. But anyway, make your own choices. Enjoy your own game. 
all is good please like and subscribe i say please back the channel by subscribing and all is good enjoy your day thank you